is Zionism racist, racist is apartheid, is apartheid evil. Is apartheid evil. So two questions. Yeah. Is Zionism racist is apartheid evil? Thank you. No, we need, yes. Thank you. We need to yes, done. Thank you. No, yes, done. Go. Next um, one. Next. Next. Let's, um, you want to explain why, Ada? Yeah. No, I, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna come with this uh, very hot take on both of these right now. Ooh. Okay. okay. Nice. All right. Lay it on me. So Zionism is the the Jewish right for self determination on our ancestral homeland. Mm-hmm. The question is, and most Jews would agree by that definition, the question is, what does it mean to self-determine? So there's countless different variations of self-determination. Some of them, and and when people criticize, when people are anti-Zionist, they're generally not saying they don't support Jewish self-determination. They're saying they don't support Jewish self-determination that looks like this, that causes Palestinians to be oppressed. So Mm -hmm. there are many forms of Jewish self-determination that could be seen as racist, but I'd say a better framing is that many, if not most forms of Jewish self-determination are somewhat exclusionary. Okay. Very few Zionists say, let's have a binational state where all people on the land from the river to the sea have equal voting rights because most, most Jews see that as the destruction of Israel putting them in a dem- making them the demographic minority and putting them in immediate um, danger. So most versions of Jewish self-determination does have some nature of being exclusionary because it's seen as essential for the survival of the Jewish people on this land. Being exclusionary in your nation state is not wholly unique. You have many nations that do something similar. For Japan is one example of a national ethno state um, and most countries do have some kind of, uh, almost all countries do have some strict or sane immigration policy, right? Also because they care about demographics. Jews are in a trickier situation or is this lands in a trickier situation because it's not, it's very easy to understand why Jews care about ha- being a demographic majority, but it's also easy to understand why many people would object to that on this land because we created a homeland on a on a piece of land that was occupied by a, by another group of people, right? Palestinian people. So they say. So the case could be made if there's any place that can't be exclusionary, it needs to be the land of Israel and Palestine because there's two distinct populations here, and you need to have a system of, of equality. So th- this really is one of the greatest challenges to Zionism is that. Most versions of it is are exclusionary, but many people don't accept that it should be exclusionary because you have another population living here and they've been living here for many, many generations, some of them for thousands of years. So right here is one of the greatest challenges to Zionism. 